Hi there, my name is Teresa Teisinger and I'm excited to be here today to read a short excerpt from my Christmas novella, The Last Mountain Christmas. This releases on October 26th in the Merry Christmas, M-A-R-R-Y, um, the 2023 Christmas Lights Collection. Um, I'll put a little bit more information uh, for Tony to include in the description of this video for you to find that easily. Hope you enjoy the whole collection. Um, the Last Mountain Christmas is a story about Chelsea and Owen, who are both... Um, the children of adult parents who 20 years ago went in together to buy a cabin in the mountains of North Carolina where they for years and years have brought their families together every Christmas um, to celebrate together. Um, Chelsea looks forward to this every year. She loves Christmas, um, dresses in crazy Christmas sweaters and all that kind of thing, loves Christmas songs. Um, and Owen, who is the daughter of the other, or, sorry, the son of the other family, um, it's not that he doesn't love Christmas. He's a tiny bit of like a Scrooge in disguise. Um, he is not as excited to be back this Christmas after having been um, absent a few years from the family's festivities. Um, he's been avoiding family Christmases because of um, a bad memory that he made a few years back. Um, but he's back this year finally. Um, and Owen and Chelsea are sort of thrust back together into their what has become an awkward friendship um, because uh, the parents have announced that they're selling the cabin after all these years. So it looks like this is going to be the last mountain Christmas. Um, Chelsea and Owen are asked by uh, Chelsea's sister and her fiance to help them throw together a last minute Christmas wedding at the cabin since it looks like this is going to be their last chance to get married at the beloved um family cabin. So uh, in this excerpt that I'm going to read from, Chelsea and Owen have gone into town to run some errands, um, and we kind of see a little bit of their banter and um, as well as a little bit of where both of their hearts are at. So I hope you enjoy this short excerpt from The Last Mountain Christmas. What kind of grocery store doesn't open until 10 o'clock? Owen hated when simple tasks were harder than they had to be. He looked from the sign hanging on the sliding glass door of Lawson's Market to his watch. Small town for you, I guess. Chelsea zipped up her puffy red vest as she looked left and then right. The rest of Main Street looks pretty quiet too. About a block and a half down, a man walked into a storefront. A mug-shaped sign hung over the door with Blue Mountain Java painted in blue letters across it. We've got 18 minutes to kill. Coffee? Owen nodded past Chelsea to the, toward the cafe. Sure, she shrugged. Inside, the place was more like a diner than a coffee shop. They were greeted by jingle bells hanging above the door, a fully decorated Christmas tree, and a bobblehead Santa across the hostess, atop the hostess stand. At least the nutty aroma of freshly brewed coffee was truly welcoming. Chelsea nudged him with an elbow, eyebrows dancing. Your kind of place. Very funny. They were shown to a booth at a window overlooking Main Street by a waitress that looked to be every bit as much a fixture of the establishment as the wood paneling and formica tables. They both ordered coffee, when she asked what they wanted. Well, he ordered coffee. Chelsea ordered a gingerbread latte with extra whipped cream, very on brand. Owen watched her eyes scan an advertisement for the town's Christmas parade that was stuffed in a plastic stand that separated the salt and pepper shakers from a wire stand holding assorted jellies. I'm not against Christmas, you know, he said. The waitress returned with Owen's coffee in a nondescript white mug. Chelsea's concoction arrived in one so oversized it probably held an illegal amount of caffeine. She hooked a finger into the mountain of whipped cream and licked it clean. That's a relief. He took a few sips of what might be the best coffee he'd ever tasted before continuing. I just don't personally see the need to overhype the holiday. Decorations covering every surface, themed clothing, and overpriced curated experiences? No thanks. Give me a simple candlelight Christmas Eve service, my mom's cinnamon rolls on Christmas morning, and exchanging presents with the people who mean the most, and I'm good. Her smile was warm, but she studied him intently. He shifted. Had he hurt her feelings? That's not me judging your preferences. You do you, Miss Claus. Her full lips pursed, and she rolled her eyes. Impressively, though, she still managed to express subtle amusement. Whatever trait allowed her to maintain a positive outlook in most situations was one he did not possess. She peered out the window for a moment before returning her attention to him. Can I ask you a question? Why do people ask that? He took another glorious sip. No one actually ever replies that they prefer the conversation was limited to statements only. She blinked at him. 
Sure, he said plainly, ask away. If those simple things are all you need for Christmas, she said, then why have you stayed away the last few years? All those things are here. It was his turn to look away. He was ashamed that he'd put his own discomfort with painful memories and his decimated pride ahead of quality time with the people who'd always meant the most to him. But why was Chelsea to deter so determined to force him to rehash what he'd tried so hard to keep in the past? When he looked back, her expression revealed interest, patience, and what else was there? Something unfamiliar, but he couldn't name it. This was crazy. He hadn't seen Chelsea in person, though he did follow her on Instagram, in four years. He didn't owe her any explanation. I'm here now, was all he had to offer. She exhaled and nodded. I'm glad. Me too. It surprised him a little to realize that he meant it. That's a little bit from The Last Mountain Christmas. I hope it interests you a little and you um, pick up the collection. Again, that is called Merry Christmas, M-A-R-R-Y, and it's the 2023 uh, Christmas Lights Collection. Um, Merry Christmas, happy reading, um, and I hope that you have a wonderful season.